What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. I love you guys. I'm so excited to do your reading. So let's tap in. Let's see what you got in store for you guys for the week ahead. Archangel Michael and Allegua, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap into the most important messages surrounds in the collective's energy so let's see what y'all need to know let's get a couple of angel messages here just so I fly over look for a sign so this is all about your intuition you know what you need to do and spirit is inviting you to listen to your intuition you don't need to be asking mommy or daddy you don't need to be asking Quan or Keisha, you don't need to be asking any type of friends or family. You already know in God and the universe or whoever you believe in been giving you signs to look for. All right. Some of these signs is going to be an actual sign or a symbol outside to keep going. And a lot of these signs is going to come from within. From how you feeling. From your nervousness in your stomach. Your body is going to tell you when you're safe. And when you don't have no need to worry or when you need to worry. Alright, so heavy on look for a sign. Because they, they've been given to you. Alright, they've been given to you. All right, and this situation will improve, okay? And I feel like the only reason why it's going to improve for my wonderful collectives is because you've been listening to your body. You've been listening to your intuition. Y'all been coming out of, more, uh, out of a more logical state of mind, masculine energy. Keep listening to your mind, and you're starting to listen to your body. You're starting to listen to your heart and your emotions, all right, so the situation will improve because you have improved. All right, the situation will improve because you are trusting yourself more. All right, I don't know why I don't want to stay like this, but there we go. So, yeah, look, and not only you see what happens. When you listen to yourself and when you trust yourself, no matter if no one else trusts you, all right, not only will the situation improve, not only have you been listening to the signs and synchronicities, ooh, ooh, that's what you probably got around you, but it will be a peaceful resolution, okay? It will be. A peaceful resolution, baby. All right, that's how our God work. All right, so yeah, you've reconsidered something. All right, you've reconsidered a decision. You reconsidered a person. You reconsidered a friendship or a career or a job or a status or a title that was not meeting your standards. That's that was not vib vibrating at the same frequency. And you changed it. You changed your mind. And you reconsidered. All right? So this is all about you trusting yourself and making another decision on something. All right? And making another decision. All right. So let's keep going. Let's see. All right. So let's see what this decision was. Let's see why. You had to reconsider, okay? And let's see about these signs, all right? Because there's definitely a peaceful resolution and the situation is improving, all right? It's probably this. You probably have somebody watching you, all right? 441 on a clock. All right, so let's see. Spray, what else the collectives need to know, please and thank you. Ooh. 
So the nine of wands, all right, this could be you. This could be a person. This could be a person's person or somebody a person's dealing with or you dealing with. But somebody stressed the hell out. Somebody has had enough. Somebody is physically, you know, the wands is our physical action and our, you know, our spirit, our energy. Somebody is physically drained. Their body is drained. Their mind, their emotions is drained. All right, maybe this was a sign. Yeah, oh my gosh, the ten of wands. It went from the nine into the ten. Somebody is overworked. Somebody feels unsupported and in parenting and just responsibilities. All right. And somebody feels overwhelmed in work. Somebody has taken on, somebody has taken on way too much to where, look at the calendar. It's like, what the fuck? I don't even have time to, to add anything for myself type of energy. Somebody took on way too much and is now realizing that wasn't the way to go. Somebody might have tried to disguise or hide their emotions through work. You know how when somebody just tried to kind of numb their emotions through something? All right. It's looking like somebody thought that having money or going to work, work or having a lot of jobs or different tasks was going to do something for them. Somebody was living too much in the flesh and not the spirit. All right, but the 10 of wands is done. Like somebody physically can't go on no more. Like, even if they tried, they would burn out. They physically can't go on no more. They're stressed out too much. Anymore, they will be in a hospital. For some of you guys, this person can be in a hospital. All right? Stress is the number one killer, okay? Somebody feel like they running out of time. They can't meet their deadlines. It's taking on too much. And not... You know, somebody is not in their divine feminine energy, no matter if you are masculine or feminine. The divine feminine energy is receiving and allowing, receiving help, allowing help, allowing assistance, feeling comfortable with saying you need help just with the right people. All right. Getting out of feeling vulnerable and, you know, having a guard up, you know, earth energy and water energy. Those are feminine energies. The, the fire signs and the, the, the fire and the swords and the air, that's masculine energy. Somebody is in masculine energy, not open to receive. Even if they think they are, they, somebody is, ooh, see? Somebody is too, too on guard. Somebody is not trustworthy of help or somebody is way too independent. Somebody is way too independent. And this could stem from a lot of things. This could stem from you guys being let down a lot. This could be this could stem from every time you ask for support, you don't get it. But baby, that don't mean do everything by yourself. That means change your group. Change your support system. Change your foundation. Because do, stressed out like this physically, that's not gonna work. Here, what else? If y'all was dealing with anybody like this, of course y'all going to be in this energy too. And if y'all are the ones that's going through this, the Ten of Wands is indicating some situation is going to improve. But you have to release all of these burdens and responsibilities that you've taken on. For some of you guys, these shits is not even your, your responsibilities. But the Ten of Wands is a completion. It's done. Whether, whether somebody got terminated, whether spirit 
or the universe forced you out of a job or a career path that was causing you too much stress or you did it yourself. But the Ten of Wands is indicating it's done. There's nothing else that nobody could do. Yeah, the Six of Cups, time for reflection. All right, reflecting on what the fuck is going on right now. Okay, yeah, it's because of a relationship. All right, somebody feels like they're no longer in the picture. Somebody feels like every time they try to create something, uh, they keep getting betrayed or backstabbed. Somebody needs to focus on self. Do a lot of reflecting. Okay, with this Six of Cups, this probably definitely could be a past life connection or a very deep connection where you lost yourself. But the Three of Swords is indicating a breakup, a separation. Whether it's a separation from a partner, a friend, a career, family, an environment, a state of mind. This is some hard truths. Somebody is being forced to accept. And for a lot of you guys, it's going to be that somebody is no longer in the picture. So instead of processing that emotion... Instead of grieving in the right way, somebody is putting all of their time into work or going out or, you know, feeling so overwhelmed with the kids. Okay. Oh, damn. And it's looking like somebody is in a full of swords energy. This definitely could be a relationship where somebody is trying to compete. With somebody that is very unbothered. All right. Yeah, somebody's manifesting for whoever this is and it's full of swords energy. The full of swords energy is an unbothered energy. Like literally repelling any type of gossip, any type of bad thoughts, any type of negative energy. All right. That's going to block your confidence or your solar plexus or your willpower. All right. You looking good. You smelling good. But it's the time. You're prioritizing for yourself. You get it? Like somebody don't have no time to prioritize for themselves. And somebody do. All right. And for some of you guys, all right, y'all could be getting out of a state of overwhelm and, and feeling like everything is on you and healing. Okay. And getting back and to a divine feminine energy where you chilling. You're prioritizing self-care, self-love, all right? You're not stressed out because of abandonment issues, okay? For some of you guys, this other person could be a friend. Or somebody that you know, somebody that you hang around with that's probably a little jealous of how privileged you're living your life right now. How much love and confidence that you have for yourself, your basking in your creativity. All right. It's, there's a lot of prioritizing right now with you, um, whoever's in that energy. Spirit, give me more on this nine of wands. The two of cups, it's a relationship. Somebody been in a relationship for a while and it feel, and they feel like it, it's not going nowhere. You see, the two of cups is a partnership. The two of cups. The lover's card is more of a high-level, committed, soulmate relationship. But the two of cups, it's like y'all just meeting each other. So somebody feel like they've been with each other for a while because these two people are, it look like they up there in age. But the two of cups is an energy where... It's just starting. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just starting. Yeah, somebody could be choked up behind that. But this is somebody feel overwhelmed. Somebody could also be living with their parents. All right. This could be a situation where somebody living with their parents and they kind of just want to get out of that environment. Somebody don't want to be dependent on parents no more. All right. Somebody just wants to find their own stability, their own security, their own, you know, motion. And they're finding it very hard. All right. So this is definitely giving me like parent vibes. All right. And feeling like there was some a relationship that they've been in for a while. It's just it's just stagnant. It's not balanced. 
Somebody wants to leave out their mom's house. I feel like every time somebody go home after work and go into their mom's house, they don't want to be there. They don't want to be there. They want their parents to live happy, even if these parents are genuine and nice and, you know, caring. That's, that's parents. We always going to be like that. But somebody doesn't want to be there. Somebody doesn't want to add their burdens on their parents. But somebody just don't know how to receive the help or change their situation. But this is definitely about your own shit. Allowing relationships and people and partnerships to get you in a state of instability. And having to rely on people that you really don't want to rely on and be dependent on. All right. Spirit, give me more of this Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's living with family. All right. Somebody want to go and find their own journey. All right. Somebody, when they, when, they, when they go to work, they frustrated at work. When they come home, they frustrated at home because not only of the responsibilities, they feel dependent on some sort of parents or relatives. All right. Or family. All right. And then, not only that, somebody feels like, you know, uh, they even rely on food there. All right. But let me tell you, these, this family is looking like they love you. If you're resonating with this, it's looking like this family loves you. All right. Whether, you know, you know it or not, or whether you just in your energy of just wanting to be dependent. These people are able to support you. They're able to support your children and that's what I'm seeing. Like, somebody's not in divine feminine energy of saying, fuck it. I need this help right now. Like, whoever family this is, they in the Ten of Pentacles. You better take that help. <laughs> you hear me? They got it. All right? They going to make sure you fed. They going to make sure your kids fed. They going to make sure you got love. They going to make sure you taking care of your responsibilities. But you got to want to receive that type of support and help and wisdom. You can't keep thinking you know it all. And you hot shit, but you still in a house. All right? You got to accept the help. These people can help you. If somebody just don't feel like a mother or a father, somebody don't feel like an adult because of them accepting help, and you got you to gotta get out of that. Because at the end of the day, what you going to do? You, in this, you got yourself in this predicament. So you best to be open to receive, especially when it's coming from family. Because being stressed out like this, it's not doing nothing because these parents or these family members, they're not stressed out. These are lovable people. And it's looking like these people will not allow any type of third party energy or any type of outside influence to mess up what they built as a family, as a home. All right. These are older people that made sure that things were taken care of and responsibilities were put in place so that way their family or the younger generation won't have to stress out. But you got to be willing to receive or want the help and stop feeling like you too good, all right? Because if you was too good, you wouldn't be needing their help, all right? So definitely try to reconsider um, who you are receiving help from and why, because these people can help you. And you rather have family help you than other people help you. Okay? Somebody finds it hard to accept this help. Or if they feel they feel codependent. Spirit, give me more than six of cups. Somebody's been reflecting about this. Not feeling self-sufficient. The emperor... They thinking about this man. See, this man is making moves. All right? This man is being strategic. This man is moving on with his life. Somebody in their head about somebody making a move or moving out of their life or separating. And this, this person is coming out as an emperor. So, yeah, look. 
this imp like the emperor you get no better than the emperor like all four kings is the emperor so this person is figuring out their career somebody feel like somebody moved on and made a life for themselves made a name for themselves and they didn't the uh, emperor is you know but um yeah look oh my gosh so this is what somebody found a new relationship somebody whether it's serious you see how the two of cups you got the two of cups oh no this is the two of wands somebody moved on somebody mingling somebody looking somebody flirting somebody texting all right and somebody having any options open somebody met somebody else and this is twin flame energy somebody's very attracted to this person somebody's magnetically attracted to somebody's spirit all right you see the yellow the yellow the solar plexus all right that's like your confidence your willpower that's your intuition in your stomach where it tells you is this good or is it not is this a red flag or is it not all right so somebody's head over heels yeah like they're dreaming about somebody else somebody cannot get their mind off of somebody that they just recently met two of wands all right this could have been two months two weeks two days all right but somebody feel like they already know this person for a lifetime star card they already feel like it is written in the stars for both of them to be together somebody hit it off instantly with somebody okay and it may it look it, it, it's looking like it made somebody boss up or it got somebody bossing up or it's making somebody become divine masculine you know, the emperor energy is divine masculine. It is. And the emperor, I mean, and the empress is divine feminine. So it's looking like there's a new relationship. No matter if it's new or not, because it is. Um, You got a divine masculine or their potential is to be the divine masculine. Or they want to be a divine masculine because of the energy that's being reciprocated. You guys are focusing on your dreams. And that's mirroring one another. Because of the conversations that y'all have, the thoughts that y'all exchange, okay? Learning about one another. And somebody is really jealous of that. They feel like somebody, they're not in the picture no more. They're not answering their phone calls no more. They're not texting back as fast. They're not prioritizing them as much no more. And they really, really feel isolated. For some of you guys, you know, this is the love month. So with this um, flowers, I feel like somebody just feel left out. Because of Valentine's Day, maybe. All right? Don't let that do too much to you guys. But that's what it is. Somebody moved on, but not only moved on, somebody is becoming divine masculine. Whether this divine masculine be with this relationship or not, this relationship has changed the dynamic of this masculine's life. All right? And maybe this masculine, this, this other person feels like living with their parents or living with family will not meet the expectations of a divine masculine but that's the wrong way to go because you will block the help that you need from a mother for a motherfucker that's moving on to somebody else that's clearly happy somewhere else never block your blessings never feel like you too good to receive the support you really need for your children because you're trying to keep up with the joneses with a man that is already moved on that's trying to do something for somebody else or try to be better for somebody else or him himself all right there's conflict here there's tension because somebody's moving on somebody really really feels salty that they are out the picture somebody could have even found a picture for some of you guys but with this rose on the floor there's no peace there's no peace all right, somebody hot chakra block with this lock. Somebody feels like they unlocked. Somebody feels like they own somebody's heart. All right, because it is a decision that has been made. Remember? Um, the situation will improve, but somebody has to make the initiative to change. All right, well, somebody unpack their back. Somebody, whether somebody keeps trying to force something or not, somebody is making an initiative. And the more somebody's making an initiative, no matter if it's the masculine or the feminine, 
the situation will improve because you're making it that way. You're not waiting for somebody to improve the situation for you. All right. Somebody is moving on. Somebody is exploring their options. Somebody's dating and somebody's reconsidering about the grass being greener. All right. Somebody fell in love. Yeah. This, this masculine, this masculine's on a journey. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're coming in hot. Ooh. And so is the comic. All right. They are around a dark feminine energy. All right. Remember the air. This is a queen of swords energy. So wands, fire, and air is masculine energy. And if the masculine is in masculine energy, you got two people operating out of masculine energy. Not going to work. This comic, and I'm only saying comic because look, this person wants to have the crown, or but you can't have the crown in such a dark space. This person wants to argue a lot. This person wants to dictate. This person will wake up and start asking random fucking questions about cheating. All right? Somebody can't drop something. Somebody's so hurt that they don't have the resources that somebody else has. And it's, 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 it's causing a lot of unnecessary arguments, emotions, and trauma that is not being handled. It's too much tension, fighting. Somebody does not want that masculine to leave or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Swords, please. Yeah. So, ooh. So this Queen of Swords knows that she must turn she must turn her back. She must she must drop that sword. She must drop that sword and make a final decision to stand on business instead of sitting on business. <laughs> All right, instead of taking a break of standing on business. All right? This person will stand on business for a little while. And then start sitting. <laughs> They'll start standing on business for a little while. All right. Because of the kids. And then once that's not working. They back to sit, sitting on business. So this feminine has a hard time with keeping commitments to themselves. With keeping respect or having respect for or boundaries. This person don't know how to stand on business. Because they too, they give in to their emotions. And they're too weak in their emotions. They're too codependent. So they be ready, Queen of Swords, to make a decision saying, I'm not playing. And stand up for themselves and stand on business. And wear that crown of truth. But then after a while, when they feel like the masculine is doing good with somebody else and having fun, they start sitting on business. They start calling that masculine back. But now it's not working. So now they're going to be forced to get up and stand on business. Because crying over spilled milk, being in this type of energy, it's only causing them to have a blocked heart chakra for the people and family that's trying to help them with stability. All right, yeah. They only want to stand on business when a man or the girl is involved. <laughs> if the man or the, you got to take it how it resonates. When if one person is not with the other person and the child, they don't want to stand on business. But when they come together, they they forget. They forget about standing on business. They forget about the disrespect. And you can't help somebody like that. You can't. That this is a person that will cry, that will scream, and will be like, you know, f that. I'm not playing. And everybody be rooting for them like, oh, yeah, she not playing or he not playing. And then soon as they get piped down, you hear me? Soon as there's some type of love making, you be like, what the fuck to happen to standing on business? What happened to standing on business? Now 
She turning or he turning her back on all the friends, family, because they know they're not standing on business. They know they done said everything in their mother about the next, about the partner. And now all of a sudden they with the partner. That's why if you get into arguments, it's best. If you don't tell nobody shit. <laughs> if you're going to be with the person again, because now what I'm seeing right now is somebody looking real silly. And goofy for not standing on business. And keep saying that they standing on business, but keep hiding in the shadows, sitting down. Keep standing on business when it's about the kids or when it's about something else, when they caught the masculine or the feminine doing something. But as soon as the kids come around, they want to do it for the kids and sit. This not this is a this is a um, imbalanced emotional state of mind somebody in. And then because the person is not coming back the way that they used to be given in because they happy somewhere else or happy in their own energy. Somebody is mad at the family or not giving the right energy to the family that's really trying to help them because their heart shock were blocked off to the people that they supposed to be receiving help from. Okay, this person having a hard time with standing on business. There's another feminine. This is somebody that's spiritual. This is somebody that's a divine messenger of spirit and God. This is somebody that is well educated in like um, authority or like spiritual matters. Um, this is somebody that knows their path. This is somebody that is on their purpose. This is somebody that found their God. This is somebody that tapped into their God like frequency. So if this Hierophant is with somebody, oh, it's bigger than what you think. And somebody's feeling like this Hierophant has completely changed the narrative of a path. And they want you to move. I feel like they want you to move, but you're not moving or you're standing your ground or you're completing your mission, right? You're completing your mission about something. Get as serious. You're very protected, divinely guided, all right, throughout this whole situation. That's what it is. Somebody feels like they never got to get married. Somebody just wanted the wrong things for the wrong reasons. Like, how you want to be married, and I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, you got to be real with yourself. How do you want a commitment, but you're still living in your mother's house? How do you want a commitment when you haven't found yourself? How do you want somebody to get married to you and keep or bring you such a serious commitment, and you can't even commit to the path that you need to take? So somebody was thirsty for a high level commitment from somebody that is not reciprocating the same energy. Damn. That's what I see. And all of this is because somebody's moving on. They're becoming more of divine masculine because it is terrifying. All right. And somebody constantly complains that they're tired. That they want to change. That this person don't do nothing for them. That they don't help them with work. That they don't help them with responsibilities. That they put everything on them. They complain about them being serious this time. And not playing. And then, as soon as the masculine come in. As soon as they dick them down. Or as soon as they put that wop on them. It become about the kids. Oh, we are going to do this. We forgot We forgot standing on business. See? Standing on business, sitting down. Standing on business, sitting down. Standing on business, sitting down. So once they get intimate, always back to the family. But after a couple of days, that man is going to go where he's, he, he's attracted at or attracted or got it to. So they get back in this. And now guess what? Sis or bro is back to sitting on business. They talking about, oh, it's love. It's love. 
Love ain't going to have you like this, baby. It's not. I'm sorry. All right, we got to reprogram. Love is not going to have you like this. So somebody's finding it hard to stand on business because somebody is out of here. Somebody got an empress today, emperor. Growth, expansion, a power couple. Very strong in mindset and responsibilities independently. Very, very self-sufficient independently. The emperor and the empress has very important, successful lives outside of their connection. Very respected reputations separately outside the connection. Everywhere the empress goes, abundant flows. And that's why you will always see the masculine right behind her. The divine masculine, the emperor. All right, so somebody feel like they met their person. They Everything is in an empress and everything is in a masculine. This is divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody felt like they met their divine counterpart. And it's causing somebody to have a black heart chakra and feel like working or getting money is going to get this man back. And let me tell you, once he found the empress, ain't you don't have no you don't have more, more money than an empress. A divine, a divine empress. You don't have more more wealth or abundance than an empress because their wealth and abundance comes from so many other things that allows them to stay in a nurturing energy that allows them to live a privileged life so that they won't ever you won't never ever in a million years catch an empress doing anything that is going to drain their energy like that they will you will not you will never and that's why you gotta give respect to the empress because it takes time. The Empress is beautiful. The Empress is abundant. But do you know what the Empress had? She had to go through this. She had to go through this. She had to go to every... She had to, she had to, she had to learn how to stand on business too. But guess what? When you stand on business and you make that a motherfucking priority, then you get to sit. Because once you start standing on business with the people you need to do that with and the places and the things, you're not going to have people that's gonna make you have to stand on business no more but you gotta put that in effect you gotta get out the snakes you gotta take care of your garden so that way in the long run you don't have to stand on business no more you can sit you can relax you can feel safe with the people that you have around you the empress will never be around people that they have to put their guard up about she likes sitting <laughs> she likes to be comfortable all right, so that's what it is. Somebody moved on to their divine counterpart. Or somebody feels like they found their divine masculine, their divine feminine, and somewhere else, and they are headed that way. They want nothing to do with this other karmic energy simply because they feel like they found something divine and it's bringing them towards their north node. It's teaching them a lot of wisdom somewhere else. Somebody also sees a difference. And divine feminine energy. And somebody sees the respect level that one has for themselves. Because they see that somebody keeps standing on business. And then as soon as they be intimate, they sit. Some A, a divine masculine don't want, don't want that. It's too easy. Okay? Um, and because all of this is happening, it's jealousy here. It's jealousy. It's competition. And... You can't compete when you don't compete because it's bigger than money with divine feminine energy. It's about a peace of mind. It's about prioritizing self-love, self-care, so that way you can nurture others in the same way you nurture yourself. But you can it is, it, it's impossible to nurture other people if you're not nurturing yourself that way. So there's a sense of jealousy here. There's a sense of somebody just prioritizing you more. All right? Um, somebody really, really feels connected, strong connection. All right. With you guys, um, they feel like they're not in the picture no more and it's causing them to block out the people that they have in a family that they actually are relying on. All right. There's a karmic energy that is staying with their parents and their parents love them. 
their parents provide for their children for them like this is a very okay family like they're 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 not broke they're not they're filled with love they're filled with wisdom but because the masculine or the feminine is receiving love elsewhere they're not in the picture they're blocking out the generosity and the support that they needing to, they that they need to be accepting from people that they that really love them and if that's a choice all right that's a choice to reconsider all right that's a choice to look for a sign these are all choices here all right, so that's what I have for you guys. I love you and I hope that helps.